Okay, so let's summarize this a little bit. Polynomial functions. Polynomials are x cubed, x squared, x to the fourth, x to the fifth. Any of those in combination with each other are polynomial functions. Therefore, your domain for those is all real numbers. <clears throat> because you can cube any number that you want to, and you're going to get an answer. You can square any number and multiply it by negative two, you're going to get an answer. There is not a number that you can plug into the polynomial that you will not get an answer for. Uh, in interval notation, we'll talk about that a little bit. Negative infinity, positive infinity. We use parentheses with infinity, but it is not an exact number. Okay, and we use the concept of the largest number you can imagine. Well, you can imagine the largest number you can imagine, add one to it, you have an even bigger number. Okay. <clears throat> now, the range, we have two cases. Okay. Either we have an odd function, for example, this first one that I have here, x cubed, is an odd function because the greatest exponent is odd. Excuse me. Okay, so odd function. x cubed, x to the fifth, x to the seventh. If that is your highest power, then your function is odd and they have this general shape. Now, depending on the degree, it looks slightly different, but the deal is one end is going to decrease for forever, one end is going to increase forever. So your range for an odd polynomial is also all real numbers. If it's even though, you're going to have either a minimum or a maximum value. Uh, x squared is an upward facing parabola, so you have a minimum. Negative x squared is a downward facing, so you're going to have a maximum. Uh, the next two that I have drawn are like x to the fourth. Same thing there, this one's positive, so you have a minimum. This one's negative x to the fourth, so it takes it down, so you have a maximum value. So for their ranges, if you have a minimum, is either y is greater than or equal to that minimum, or in interval notation we've got your minimum has to top the infinity, or if you have a maximum, all your y values are less than that max value. Um, in interval notation, you always go smallest to biggest, so it would be negative infinity to that maximum value. Notice here we do use brackets because those are a little cut off point. Okay. So let's identify the domain and range there of number one. Like I just said a second ago, that is an odd polynomial, so its domain and range are both all real numbers. Okay, so I usually just use a D to represent domain, an R to represent the range. Okay, all real numbers, you can use the <clears throat> symbol, the R with the two backs on it, or you can use interval notation, either one. Um, if you're planning on taking a free calculus or uh, over at the college or calculus with me, you need to get familiar with interval notation because we use that a lot. Okay, now something like number five, look at number five here on this paper. f of x is equal to x to the fourth plus x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3. Okay, it's a polynomial, so its domain is all real numbers. You can go ahead and um, Put that down. There's no debate about that. But the question is, what's going on with the range? It's positive x to the fourth, so it's going to face upward. It has a minimum value, but we're going to have to figure out what that minimum value is. Um, so really, we've got to rely on our calculators here. You need to put that into your y equals x to the fourth plus x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3. And press graph. We may need to adjust the window. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. In this case, we really don't. So you can see, looking at this graph, here is the lowest y value that this function achieves. And I know that that's the lowest value because on the ends, both of those ends are increasing to infinity. They're not going to stop. They're going to keep increasing. So this point right here around x, almost x equals negative 3, is the minimum value, but we're talking about the range, so we're talking about the y value part here. So we need to use our uh, calculate menu, second trace, minimum, okay, number three, minimum. Uh, you need the left down, so you need to move your cursor to the left side of that minimum. Right down, move your cursor to the right side of that minimum. And then for the guess, I always just hit enter where my right down was. And that gives me my minimum. I don't care about the 
dx value. Okay, I do not care about the x value. I'm concerned about the y value because the range is describing the y value. So my range here is going to be from negative 2.248 to positive infinity. Okay, I'm going to keep using interval notation um, and I'm going to use three numbers after the decimal because <clears throat> that's what we do in calculus. So, yes. Yes, you can do y is greater than or equal to negative 2.248. Okay, so really you know.